Unbelievable. Majority Taylor Green just compared Trump to Jesus. The conspiracy theorist made the ridiculous claim while addressing the crowd at Trump's Nevada rally. Join us as we debunk MTG's ridiculous claim. Come on, let's do it. The Democrats and the fake news media want to constantly talk about, oh, President Trump is a convicted felon. Well, you want to know something? The man that I worship is also a convicted felon. And he was murdered on a Roman cross. Wow, that was disturbing. And I'm not even religious. But the comparison is absurd. Comparing Trump to Jesus is completely ridiculous. They're nothing alike. Mr. Trump is a convicted felon. Trump was charged with 34 counts of falsifying business records related to payments made to porn star Stormy Daniels prior to the 2016 presidential election. Daniels had said that Trump had invited her to his room where the two had sex. Trump is also facing 40 criminal charges for allegedly mishandling sensitive documents and conspiring to obstruct the government's retrieval of them. Let's look at this clip. This is a landmark case, as you know, the first criminal trial against a former president or presumptive nominee to be the next one. Mr. Trump is facing 34 counts of falsifying business records stemming from an alleged hush money scheme to pay off adult film star Stormy Daniels during the 2016 election. He has pleaded not guilty and denied their alleged sexual encounter, but his fate has just been decided by the jury. Count 20, guilty. Count 21, guilty. Count 22, guilty. Count 23, guilty. I'm pausing because it's coming in. Count 24, guilty. Count 25, guilty. Count 26, guilty. Count 27, guilty. Count 28, guilty. Count 29, guilty. Count 30, guilty. Count 31, guilty. Count 32, guilty. Count 33, guilty. Count 34, guilty. That is 34 felony counts here, all guilty verdicts. Yes, that's 34 indictments. Compare this to Jesus, a sinless, innocent preacher who healed the sick and raised the dead. And while he was doing that and preaching the kingdom of God, he pissed off some powerful religious clerics who then conspired to get him crucified. Let's take a look at this clip. They believed he blasphemously made himself equal with God, in part by forgiving sins, something only God could do. They were also upset at Jesus because of what they perceived as a lack of obedience to the law of Moses or to the pharisaical additions to the law. They found offensive that a rabbi or teacher of the Jews should keep sinful company, as they perceived Jesus did, by associating with tax collectors and prostitutes. When Jesus said, destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The leadership saw that as a direct threat to their religion. So the religious conspired to kill him because they believed he would destroy their religion? So the two completely different people, Jesus the healer and Trump the convicted felon, Majori has made this ridiculous comparison several times before. Majori had said the same thing a year earlier she compared Trump to both Jesus and Nelson Mandela, the African freedom fighter. So take a look at Majori's older clip. President Trump is joining some of the most incredible people in history being arrested today. Um, Nelson Mandela was arrested, served time in prison. Jesus, Jesus was arrested and murdered by uh, the Roman government. There have been many people throughout history that have been arrested and persecuted by radical, corrupt governments. And it's beginning today in New York City. Yep, that concludes it. Mandela was a lawyer who fought racism so the comparison is also incorrect. He was attempting to secure equal rights for native black Africans, which were being denied by the white government. Mandela was arrested and imprisoned, and he spent 27 years in prison. Mandela, 
later became Africa's president. Mandela's courage has inspired people all over the world to fight racism and apartheid, which Trump cannot understand because he continues to threaten to deport non-natives from America. Let's look at Nelson Mandela's life. In 1956, Mandela and 155 colleagues were tried for treason. While they were ultimately acquitted, Mandela became convinced that apartheid would not fall without armed resistance. In 1961, he formed the MK, a militant branch of the ANC that committed targeted acts of sabotage against the government and its military. The MK's guerrilla tactics were effective, but in August 1962, Mandela was captured. Charged with conspiracy, he received a life sentence. Incarcerated at Robben Island, yes. Mandela was a freedom fighter who bravely fought apartheid. Mr. Trump is white and America does not practice apartheid. So Majori's comparison to Mandela is completely absurd. So now that we've laid out the facts and debunked Majori's wild claims, let's take a look at some of the backlash she's receiving on social media. Heather Thomas AF wrote on her ex account, yes, Christ was charged with a felony for falsifying of his business records in order to hide his wrongdoing, a porn star from the American people. And Glam Allegiance wrote, Jesus didn't cheat on his wife with a Playboy playmate and porn star. M.M. Padalin shared a meme, captioning it, Majori Taylor Greene comparing Trump to Jesus should have gotten her booed and thrown out. Instead, the cult just cheered. But she couldn't be more wrong unless you think Jesus committed sexual assault, fraud, and a dozen of other crimes. So that's it for today, folks. Thanks for watching. Keep watching the daily news. God bless America.